Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. So I recently just went over some footage for the first time that I had in the archives and I was blown away with what I saw. It was from a salmon trip and I was trolling and I went through a huge school of white sea bass. The footage is amazing and I had a great day of salmon fishing. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, well, we're into the last month of salmon fishing now. Getting the end of the season. You know, I'm happy with how the season turned out. Lots of salmon for me. Big fish, Eric's gotten two huge ones. I've gotten two 20 pounders, or is it three? I think it's three. Haven't gotten the one way over that. I think I've had some opportunities that I've lost that I'm disappointed about. So trying to redeem those today. Get a big one solo, it's always the goal. You know, time's money, so we're gonna go try and buy some live anchovies right now. Just need one dozen and uh, yeah, save me some time from trying to go find them and speak some up. So uh, I don't think this guy likes me filming him too much, I've done it before, so. We'll go buy these anchovies off camera and uh, see you back on the boat. Pretty disappointing. Bait shop had no live anchovies and the only frozen ones they had were the jumbos, the eight packs. I don't like trolling with those. As I'm driving to the fishing grounds, I'm letting the pelicans show me where the bait is. And then I see it on the fish finder, you know, the big balls of it. You've seen it before. And now we're just trying to sabiki some up. I think we got five now. There we go, got some more. It's a good size one right there. That's what we're looking for. Something four and a half to five and a half inches. So I'm using a size 14 sabiki. That's the size the hooks are. Because we're going for anchovies. We're catching, you know, bigger bait fish. We're gonna use a bigger size hook. All right, let's see what we got in there. That'll be good for our solo adventure. Let's go get a salmon. All right, let's get set up here. Our downrigger weight. We'll use a 12 pounder here. All right, let's see how we look. Oh yeah, I'll put it up here so you guys can see. Let's put a little charge on that glow in the dark, huh? bait is still twitching. All right, we're 70 feet of water. What do you guys think, 33 or 44? All right, 44 we'll try first. We're fishing. Let me show you all the boats. So pretty good scores for the party boats yesterday. They were getting about a fish a rod, so we'll take that. Makes us feel like we can get limits. Let's do it. It is just so nice out this morning with the no wind. I'm gonna just do shorts. It's probably like 58 degrees, zero wind. Oh, oh, there we go, guys. That looks like a bite. Why isn't it taking it off the cliff? There we go. That did not take long. Oh, no. No SD card in this guy. We'll be all right. Well, this bite took about 
I mean, I'll look later, but five minutes. So I can't go mark my spot right now because I'm solo, but I'm making a loop. So I'll be able to see that path later, that loop that I made and then mark it after I get this fish in hopefully. drag a little bit now. Slowing down a little bit. Good fighting fish for its size. knock beautiful eater looks about an eight pounder it looks like it has two in it Nice row we'll keep. So if you're trying to save your salmon row to use for bait for like surgeon later in the year, you don't want to put it in water. So I took it out, put it in a Ziploc bag. Fresh water is the biggest killer. A little bit of salt water won't hurt, but generally no water. When you get home, you want to pat it dry with paper towels and then freeze it, you know, airtight. And then it'll be good for surgeon fishing. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I have two underwater cameras. Let's get one down with the underwater cam. All right, there's our bait. Check out that tail dripping with blood. Oh yeah, that's gotta give us the scent we want. All right, dropping our rod back for the second time now. Underwater camera. So that was the largest school of anchovies I've ever gone through with the underwater cam. And if you have that much bait in the area, you're bound to have some predators following. And we certainly did it on this day. We go through a huge school of white sea bass. They're known as the ghosts because, yeah, you don't see them often. I've never caught one. I've never seen one in real life. And I finally get to see them on the camera. And how cool to see them in their own environment, just chilling out. This is a really nice school of them. Unfortunately, we did not catch one. I would say these are probably 10 to 40 pounds. Enjoy this footage. Let's do a replay of the one that took a chomp at my bait. I mean, it was definitely a lazy attempt, but what is that? Six inches there? That's how close I was to hooking up my first white sea bass. You guys comment below and let me know if you came across a school like this and you knew it was down there, what would you use for bait? I'm thinking if I was mooching, I might have a better chance at him there. All right, we've been fishing about one hour now. Got that one keeper on the boat. 
we got them in the first five, 10 minutes. Um, I've seen one other fish caught by a party boat, looked a little smaller, the same size as mine. So maybe some smaller grade fish in the area today. Uh, I mean, that was clearly a spawner by the size of those eggs, even for how small it was. Exciting stuff. Let's see if we can get another one here quickly. I love myself an early salmon limit. some rocks there but I thought it could be a rockfish coming in quick don't think it's too big nope. All right. so I've only seen like two or three fish all day caught so far on party boats and every time they netted when it looked really small it just seems like smaller grade fish in the area today not really hearing of any monsters or big ones so it's a slow bite i'm happy to have two i know they're not big but hey it's a solo limit smaller than the last guy might have been netted before all those marks on his neck could be from me but I don't think so but we'll keep them so I can tell by looking at this guy it's a spawner you see its colors all those spots and then you can see his nose starting to turn he's a little male big gonads for such a little guy so funny how the fish here today are, are you know spawners for sure and small ones okay guys well we did it again we got our solo salmon limit beautiful looking fish this guy's maybe about 26 27 and this one maybe 23 24 um i mean slow bite out here look at all the boats all the commercial guys that radio is not going off I don't know, they love that crippled anchovy, charge it up with the light, and they just can't resist it, even on a slow day. So we're going ahead and head in now. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.